can create this kind of model, this kind of weapon part, this kind of nozzle part of the weapon. Hey guys, welcome to CR Entity Designers. This is Chetan, and in this Blender tutorial, we are going to create another creative hard surface modeling. So, without further ado, let's get started. To make the design, you need to add the cube. So, Shift A, add the cube. After that, you need to scale it down like this. Then, just you need to scale this cube along the x axis as like this. Then, add the center loop cut and then apply the scale on the model. Now just you need to select the faces. So just turn on this extra mode and then select the faces like this. And then you need to use the insert operation at there. And give the proper thickness for the insert operation. Then you can use the loop tool and then loft option. Then you can add the center loop cuts like this. And now you need to select this corner edge loops. And then control B and then add bevel on this edge loops. Add 4 segment bevel and give the proper bevel width. You will get this kind of form at there. Then just you need to add one more cylinder at there with the 8 words and then scale it down. Go to the edit mode and then select these words right click connect vertex path. Select that edge loop and then control B and then add bevel on this edge loop. And add one segment bevel at there. Here I just want to create the basic block out for the boolean. Just use the simple transform tools and then create that block out. Then you can adjust the scale and then rotate it into this 45 degree angle as like this and then give the right position to it and the right scale. Then you can select both objects and you need to use the boolean operation which is difference. And you can create this kind of boolean detail. Then just apply the boolean modifier and then you can delete that cutter object. Then select everything and then mesh and then symmetrize. Take the symmetry along the x axis. Then you can rotate it a little bit and then you need to add one more cylinder with the three words. I want to create a triangular boolean detail so that's why. You will get the equilateral triangle at there. Just rotate it and give the right position and right scale to it. Then you can scale it along the z axis and then use the boolean operation which is difference. Then you can apply the boolean modifier and then delete that cutter object. Now just we need to create the right topology on the model. You can delete the bottom part of the model because we can take the symmetry. So we can just work on the top part of the model. Then you can select these edges and then control X to dissolve them. These are unwanted edges at there. So just dissolve these unwanted edges. Then select everything and then press M and merge by distance. So double words will get merged. So you can select the words as like this and then right click connect vertex path and just try to create that loop structure that face loop structure according to that you need to create the path in between the words then just you need to use the knife tool and you need to create the cuts like this along the y axis just create the same kind of loop structure at the bottom side also you can see I'm getting that loop structure at here just here I need to use the knife tool and then create the cuts like this. These are the supportive cuts and supportive edges to maintain the form of the model. Now same kind of cuts you need to create at the bottom side also. You can use knife tool and you can create the cuts like this. Just try to create the good topology on the model. And you can see that looks really well. Then select everything and then make symmetry and take the symmetry along the x axis. Now just you need to use the knife tool and you need to create the loop structure around this boolean details to maintain their form. Now we are facing the little bit of difficulty at here because of their double words. So just merge the words. So you will get the right face loop at there. Then here also you need to create that support loop structure around this triangular boolean detail. And now that looks really well. Then you can add the subd modifier on the model. And increase the subd count up to 2. Then add the support loop cuts on the model. To maintain the good form at there. To maintain those harder corners of the boolean details. So that's why you need to add the support loop cuts at there. So just add a few loop cuts like this and you can add the supportive loop cuts and you can give the right position to the words to maintain the good edge flow add there on the model. 
then add the loop cuts like this now you can see I'm getting those decent boolean details right there which looks really well then just need to select these face loops with the shift or select and use the insert operation right there then you can select these edge loops and you can scale them along the x-axis and make it flat along the x-axis and then take the symmetry along the x-axis and now turn on your x-ray mode select these faces and then delete these faces you can see the model looks really well now we will add the array modifier and you can see I'm getting this kind of pattern at there I want this pattern so that's why I have added that array modifier you can adjust the scale a little bit then you can increase the array count at there so I'm going with the 4 count and turn on that merging option in that array modifier then make sure your array modifier should be top of your subd modifier and now that's look good then you can apply the array modifier now select everything mesh and then symmetrize take the symmetry along the z axis then you can select these edge loops and you can increase the length at there means you can move them along the x axis same thing just select these words and move them along the x axis then you can add a few more loop cuts like this then select these edge loops and then right click bridge edge loop and then press I for the insert operation then you can use the knife tool and you can create the cut like this and here I want a slant cut so that's why I use the knife tool and create that slant cut then you can select these faces and then delete these faces then use the edge loop and then right click breach edge loop then you can select these faces and then press I for the insert operation then use the knife tool and then create one more cut like this and now you can see I have got that design at here so these are the primary details which we have created on the model and now we will add more secondary and tertiary details easily we can do this just need to observe the process and easily you can create those details I'm using the base topology add there to create those details on the model and that's not difficult So now you can see the model looks like this which looks really well. You can see its topology and its details which we have created. In this way you can create this kind of model, this kind of weapon part, this kind of nozzle part of the weapon. If you want more this kind of tutorial then please hit that like button and subscribe our YouTube channel. Bye bye so next video take care.